Hi guys, um, I'm not experienced at making these videos, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to show you today how to how Magic Call works with Google Voice on a Windows Mobile smartphone. So right now I'll show you the process after it's set up, and later on I'll go into the setup process and I'll even compare GV Dollar and I Dollar and I Contacts. For example, I make a phone call um, the way I traditionally would with my my dial pad. I can either choose to dial a number or choose a contact. And right now, you know, I'll I'll call my you know I can even use Voice Dollar and it'll go through my Google Voice number. You know, you just dial how you traditionally dial with Magic Call after it's set up, and um, you could either dial with your contacts, you can dial the number manually, or, or you can um, even use voice commands. Like if I say, if I hold down the voice command button, call home. Yes. I'll put on speaker for a on my house phone with my Google Voice number. That's pretty much how you make phone calls with Magic Call. I mean, it takes, it replaces all of your your phone calls with your Google Voice number. So whoever you call, they'll see your Google Voice number. But you can program it so whenever you dial your voicemail, for example, say if I want to access my Sprint voicemail, I would just dial how I normally dial to access my, sprint, access my Sprint voicemail. I just hold one, and it'll go to my Sprint voicemail. And pre-program it to do that, to work that way. And also, yeah, I programmed it to, if I dial 911, it'll go actually call 911 with my real number. You know, some other numbers, like customer service, Okay, now I want to briefly take you through the setup process of setting up Magic Call with your phone on someone else's number. Um, so that's what the software looks like after you put all of the commands in there for Google Voice and for your real number. There's details on this site. I'll put the link either here or here. I don't know. I don't use YouTube. And this runs in the background basically at all times. And you can have it not run in the background, but then it won't dial with your Google Voice number. It will dial with your real number. But as long as this is running in the background, it'll dial with your Google Voice number. And you can exit this at any time if you you just open the program and exit it. You open the program and exit it whenever you want to just have your real number at all times. And you can program it to restart. Anytime you restart your phone, you can program it to start up with your phone. That's the thing about this program. It, it gives you the most. It gives you the most control with your Google Voice number. I mean, until Google comes out with comes up, comes out with their their own software and show you GB Dollar, which is something that I pay for, but now I regret paying for it because I have this better option. And I'm looking like this because I have a speaker right here, the mic right here. <laughs> it's a Bluetooth mic, so um, if I dial my house number, and th I'll show you how GV Dollar works, it, it'll it'll basically call the number, but end it. It'll try to end it immediately, and then it'll try to call again using the, my Google Voice number. I'm gonna have to edit this video a lot. I was going to try and show you how GB Dollar works compared to Magic Call, but because GB Dollar no longer seems to work on my phone anymore, I'm sure it has probably something to do with the fact that I use Magic Call now. Something, some conflicts going on. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to show you Eye Dollar and Eye Contact. Essentially, what they are are they are free programs. For Windows Mobile that allow you to make Google Voice phone calls 
um, a little easier without, you know, dialing the number manually and then dialing the number that you want to call for free or whatever, depending on what, what setup you have. Here's iDollar, and iDollar is, you know, it's a good free option, but it requires an internet connection to work because basically you will dial your number with the iDollar, and you can also, I don't know if you can say it, it says Google Voice right here, but if you press there, it's hard to see, if you press there, it'll switch to your, your real number, your, whoever you provide, I happen to have, I happen to have Sprint, so it switch to Sprint, and then if you switch to Sprint, and you make the phone call, it will go to, you. it'll dial with your real number, and if you, if you press it, and switch it to Google Voice, it'll dial with your Google Voice number, so, it, is, it, it would be an ideal application if um, you don't like the way your real dollar looks even, but um, because it requires an internet connection is the reason why it's not for me, because I wouldn't want to be in a situation where I don't have a data connection at all. I wouldn't want to be in a situation where I want to make a phone call and I have to rely on my data connection. Even though I live in an area that doesn't seem to have that problem. I always have EV in my area, but if I happen to be somewhere. Okay, um, then there's, there's eye contact. If you use eye contact, it'll work with the eye, eye dollar. They basically are the same application. You, you can install them separately, but they work together, they, and you can control whether you want to dial with your Google Voice or your cell phone pr provider, and you have your you have a contact list for dialing, and you will you just um it's it's a good contact too. You can it's you know it doesn't it doesn't lag. If I choose me, go to the internet. You know, actually, instead of the phone ringing, I will receive a phone call and I will answer. Just like if you go to the web browser with Google, Google Voice, your phone will ring. It's usually quicker than this, but I haven't used it in a while. But um, here's my phone ringing now. And if I answer, my the person calling should ring. So that's the house phone. So the house phone ringing now. So I answer, and the person I'm calling phone rings as I'm answering the phone. So that's how the free option works. And that's why it's not ideal because you have to answer. And also the data connection, you have to use the internet. But that's why it's not ideal because you have to answer the phone to actually make a phone call, which is the same as the free option that Google provides through the web browser. But it makes it, you know, a little bearable to have the contacts be able to dial with your contacts as a free option. I almost forgot to mention eye contact. If you want to use eye contact as your main dollar, you can in install basically something that makes it your main dollar. So if you were to press phone, like you dial with your real dollar, instead of your phone, this showing up, eye contact will show up. So every time you make a phone call, you just press your what you're used to pressing, and eye contact will be your dollar. You know, you know, you can choose your contacts through eye contact, or you can dial with your dial pad manually, and it'll go through. Everything will go through your Google Voice number. Your phone will ring back. You answer it as as you answer. You'll hear ringing, and the other person will eventually answer, or they voicemail, whatever. So, hopefully, you know, this will help you guys make your decision on the best Google Voice application for Windows Mobile for you until hopefully Google offers something themselves which will most likely be free and better. Alright, so I don't know. Say, bye.